everyone. I hope you had a great weekend. Um, today we are going to still be reviewing uh, for our reading EOG. And today we are going to look at this passage called The Finish Line together. And we are going to work through these questions together. So I'm going to read it out loud. You can follow along on your screen as we go. All right. So The Finish Line. Old Man Winter was not going away, and Rob was tired of having to play inside at home. He longed to go play in the green grass at the park. In gym class one day in March, Coach, Coach Smithers gathered everyone before the bell rang. I almost forgot, he said. Mrs. McDougall is starting a new after-school program on Monday that will train you for, train you a little at a time to run, or run and walk a 5K race, which is a little over three miles. Many of the students looked at each other and rolled their eyes, exchanging looks that said, Stay after school and run when we don't have to? No way. Coach Smithers wasn't finished. I see these looks, he said. A lot of you moan and groan when we do a mile around the track or the gym. If you try this program, you'll get past the moaning and groaning and may actually enjoy running. Learning to run was one of the best things I did when I was in school. I know you kids think I'm ancient, but I've been running 26.2 mile marathons for years. They looked shocked. 26.2 miles? Was he crazy? Yes, he said, laughing at their expressions. And when I was your age, I thought running was miserable too. Rob was interested. His mother and older brother ran almost every day, and he often wished he could go flying out the door like they did and come back home looking as happy. But when he ran, he felt as if his lungs were going to explode. Maybe Mrs. McDougall's program could help him become a runner, too. The training would give him a reason to be outside, too, even if it was still cold. When he went to sign up, he saw that his neighbor, Katie, was waiting in the short registration line. He and Katie had played together since they were little, but lately things had been weird between them. Kids teased them about liking each other as if as each other if they hung out together during recess. So they had not seen each other much. He waved as he she left the registration table and was secretly glad he could get to hang out with his friend again. The first day Mrs. McDougall showed everyone how to warm up and breathe well and told them not to get discouraged. We're going to start out running for a minute, then walking for a minute this week. Next week, we'll try running for two minutes and add a minute every week. That day, Robert Rob felt miserable when he ran. He was sweating even in the cold, and he was out of breath from the first step. He couldn't wait until it was time to walk. Fortunately, Katie came running up beside him, and she looked just as miserable as he felt. But she looked over and smiled at him every once in a while. Can you believe we signed up for this? She would whisper. The next two sessions were still hard, and running two or three minutes at a time felt as if it lasted years. But Rob did feel proud of himself for not quitting. By week four, Rob didn't feel miserable until the very last round of running. And by week five, his lungs no longer felt as if they might explode. Katie still ran beside him, even though he thought she could run faster if she wanted to. By week seven, he was almost feeling fine during the running intervals, and he started running extra at home. At their next to last session before the 5K race, he decided to try and run the whole 3.1 miles, and he did. On race day, Rob was actually excited instead of scared as he had expected to be. And to make it even better, spring was finally here. He and Katie ran the race together, and when they came to the corner of the finish line, their families were cheering loudly. Grinning, Rob geared up for the fast sprint across the finish line. If he could do this, Rob thought as he caught his breath, he could do anything. Alright, so now that we've read through our passage, let's look at these questions, okay? So, question number one is, what is the central message of this selection? So, remember, the central message is the overall lesson that the author wants us to learn. So, looking at my answer choices, letter A, practice can make a difficult task fun. It is okay to give up when a person is tired, is letter B. 
Letter C, boys are better runners than girls. And letter D, winning is all that really matters. And so as we've been talking about um, test taking strategies, one strategy that I personally like to use is I like to X out my answer choices that just don't make sense to me. Um, so I'm going to go back and I'm going to look back over the passage and it really does not say anything about winning is all that matters. So I'm going to go ahead and X out uh, letter D. And it doesn't really talk about boys are better runners than girls. It does talk about Katie running with Rob, but they don't ever talk about boys being better runners than girls. So that's not going to be a good answer choice. So looking at letters A and letter B, I see that at the beginning, when they're first starting to run, they run for a minute and then they walk for a minute. Rob was miserable. He wasn't enjoying it and he was sweating even in the cold. But in letter B it says it is okay to give up when a person is tired. But even though he's miserable, he doesn't really give up running. He keeps going and as we continue reading on page two, he gets better and better. So really, running to Rob is a hard task. It even talks about he wishes that he could run like his mom and his brother. But he sees that through practice, it can make a difficult task fun. So letter A would be our central message. So let's look at number two. Which statement supports the moral, even when things get tough, don't give up? So remember, a moral is just that lesson that we're learning. Um, so they gave us the moral, even when things get tough, don't give up. So again, I'm going to kind of go through my process of elimination for my answer choices. So letter A, Rob did not want to sign up for running after school. Well, let me see if that makes sense. If I go back to page one, um, around paragraph nine, he he is interested. And so he does end up signing up. So him being interested in him signing up does not help us pick choice A. So I'm going to mark that out. Um, how about letter B? He continued to train even when he felt like giving up. If I go back to my passage and I skim through my passage, I see that even though it was tough, uh, he did not give up. So he And he kept training. So that could be an answer. So I'm going to leave letter B there. Let's look at letter C. Rob wanted to give up on running because Katie could beat him. Well, going back to where it's talking about him and Katie running together, um, if we look at this fortunately paragraph, it says that she came running up to him and even she kind of looked tired, but was like his his running partner um saying like can you believe we did this so letter c is not going to be a good option and looking at letter d rob could not breathe and had to stop every time he tried to run well at the beginning it says he couldn't breathe and he was having a hard time but he kept going and he kept persevering so, letter D is not going to be a good option. So, we see that letter B is our best choice. Even when things get tough, don't give up. And Rob continued to train even when he felt like giving up. Supports that because he did keep training. So, letter or um, number three. What's the central message of paragraph six? So, this means I've got to go back to my story or my passage and I've got to find paragraph six to see where I'm looking at. So I can see by these numbers that I'm looking at paragraph 6. So 6 is right here. So it's this section. So let's see. I'm going to reread this. I see those looks, he said. A lot of you moan and groan when we do a mile around the track or the gym. If you try this program, you'll get past the moaning and groaning and may actually enjoy running. Learning to run was one of the best things I did when I was in school. I know you kids think I'm ancient, but... I've been running 26.2 mile marathons for years. So remember, Coach Smithers is talking in paragraph six. So let's go look at our options. So 
running can actually become enjoyable to a person who trains? Well, that could be that could be an answer because he does say that learning to run was one of the best things I did when I was in school. So I'm going to leave that. That could be an option. So letter B, running is miserable and will make a person moan. Well, let's see. It does talk about moaning and groaning, but it doesn't actually say that running is miserable. It says Coach Smithers is talking about how it's one of the best things he did. So letter B is not going to be our good option. Running is a good exercise and helps all person helps a person in all sports. So that could be a probable answer. That could be a possible answer. Looking at paragraphs, so I'm gonna leave it. Okay. And letter D, running helped Coach Smithers become a better coach. Well, I mean it probably did, but that paragraph isn't even talking about his coaching abilities. So that's not gonna be a good choice. So, let's go back to letter A. Running can actually become enjoyable to a person who trains. So, if we go back to paragraph 6, and he does say, Coach Smithers does say, if they train, they might actually enjoy it. Um, Instead of just going to try and run a mile, like, without any training, if you train, you might actually enjoy it. And he's saying that because he trains, he enjoys running 26.2 mile marathons. So, letter A is going to be our best choice. Alright, let's look at number four. What is the central message of paragraph nine? Again, that central message is just that lesson that we're supposed to be learning. And also, I see paragraph nine here, which means it's this section. Alright, so, paragraph nine says, Rob was interested. His mother and his older brother ran almost every day, and he often wished he could go flying out the door like they did and come back home looking as happy. But when he ran, he felt as if his lungs were going to explode. Maybe Mrs. McDougall's program could help him become a runner, too. The training would give him a reason to be outside, even if it was cold. So, let's look at letter A. Rob thought it was too cold to be outside running. Well, I know that's not true because it does say the training program would give him a reason to be outside even if it's too cold so that doesn't support letter a so letter b rob thought running was horrible and made him moan well maybe but not quite but we'll leave that one there rob wanted to run so he could make mrs mcdougall proud well again maybe but this paragraph really isn't even talking about mrs mcdougall So I can go ahead and eliminate that answer. Rob wanted to learn to run and enjoy it like his mother and his and brother. Well, it does say that he wanted to do this. Um, It says that his mother and his older brother ran almost every day, and he often wished he could go flying out the door like they did and come back home looking as happy. So I think between letters B and letter D, I think letter D is going to be our best option that he wanted to learn to run and enjoy it, like his mom and his brother. And lastly, number five, what is this selection mostly about? And that means, again, what are we talking mostly about in this passage, in the story? What are they really trying to get at? So letter A, running makes a person stronger. Letter B, coaching track is very rewarding. Letter C, working hard and never giving up is the key to success. Or letter D, quitting is the best way to get out of an uncomfortable situation. So again, I can eliminate some answers here. Um, I can right off the bat eliminate letter D because in our story, they don't really talk about quitting. He continues running even when it gets hard. Um, so now let's go back through A, B, and C. Well, letter A, it running does make a person stronger, so that could be an answer. So let's look at letter B. Coaching track is very rewarding. Well, it probably is very rewarding, but it really isn't talking about coaching track. If it was talking about coaching track, we would be focused on Coach Smithers more than Rob. So we can eliminate answer B. And let's look at letter C. Working hard and never giving up is the key to success. 
Well, I think that letter C is going to be our best answer because all throughout our passage, Rob is working hard to make himself better and he doesn't give up. And in the end, he does succeed. He even is able to make a fast sprint across the finish line. Um, In this last sentence, grinning, Rob geared up for his last fast sprint across the finish line. If he could do this, Rob thought as he caught his breath, he could do anything. So we're, I'm going to go with letter C, that working hard and never giving up is the key to success. So that was our review to through for today. Um, and remember, as you're reading through a passage and answering the questions that go with the passage, remember to take your time. Remember to go back to highlight in your passage. Um, and because just really don't rush through these. Take your time. All right. Have a great rest of your day. Make sure you complete your practice under classwork and have a great day.